Anytime a woman hits nine months, the expectation is high. She's expected to bring forth. And the only language she hears in the delivery room is Madame Push. Madame Push. Madame Push. To push means to press. Turn with me to Philippians chapter 3. We read three verses only. 12, 13, 14. Not as though I had already attained. Either we are already perfect. But I follow after. If that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Verse 14. Everybody together want to go. I press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ. Thank you. Now hear me clearly. There is no press without a required price. Every press goes with a price. I press towards the mark for the high calling. Now hear me. Every calling is high. Whether you are a mechanic, whether you are a driver, whether you are a cleaner, whether you are a gate man, it all depends on what you see about it. Are you listening to me? Every calling of God is important. I don't want you to look down on yourself. Like some women look down on themselves. They said housewife. Housewife is a calling. Are you listening to me? Ministering to your home is, is paramount. Never you look down to say, wait, wait till they're there. Never. There is so much inside. Because as a woman, you are also a pastor. In your heart. That's why God gives women a compassionate heart. The heart that when you see a woman's heart that is hardened, check her. She knows they go foul. You may not like it, but that's the truth. It is not the nature of a woman to be hard to be hardened. It's not woman. That is weak man. Woman. Weak man. Even the Bible admonishes us in Peter. That we should treat them with knowledge as weaker vessel, weaker vessel. So when a woman is no more a weaker vessel, it means she has assumed the position of a man. And the scriptures cannot be broken. So I hear. Never you look down on yourself that you are a woman, a man, housewife, waiting day inside housewife. Plenty work day. Are you listening to me? Work day. Woman even get work past man. If two of you are working, man, they work. Husband, they work. Wife, they work. When they come back, if two of them, they close the same time. When they return back, who they enter kitchen? Why no rest? You finish that one. You go serve children. Serve the man. Praise the Lord. Are you listening to me? So, the woman has assignments. So much. You know the meaning of taking care of your home? Grooming your children? You know the funniest thing? When the child makes good results, they attribute it to the father. How many fathers do you see that they are really bothered about their children compared to the mother? A mother, that she can say like this, you are talking to her, her mind don't go because all her mind now her children. Because she has carried them for nine months so she knows the pain of what it takes to be there. Are you listening to me? A man may not sell his property to care for his children, but not the wife. 
the woman can sell or i've seen women sell their wrappers sell their gold their jewelry sell even to their trinket their boxes they went there i've seen women sell their cutleries to train their children a man may not sell his things to send his children abroad he said wait till they go do that stay here after a school and school but not a woman because a woman wants to be proud of her children never you look down on yourself that what is there there's no work hear me it's a high calling to be a wife say yeah. yeah raise your shoulder all women say i'm proud to be a woman won't see shame over your home you won't see shame over your marriage you won't weep over your children you won't weep over your husband you won't weep over your home in the name of jesus now the point i'm making is this every calling is a high calling because it is of god as far as you are born of god he says you shall be the head and not the tail so in anything you do you must stand out whether you are a mechanic it will so happen that the governor the president they will come and carry you to be the mechanic you know the prize that is there to be the governor's mechanic never you look down on yourself never every calling of god upon everyone god has created is a high calling whether you are a grass cutter you cut it with pride are you listening to me everybody cannot be the same if not who serves who nobody will serve but there is a price tag you must press to attain that high calling every calling is high and if you must get to the top which is high it means you must climb now and climbing requires what force you must press requires a press what does it mean to press what is press i said to put yourself under irresistible and irrevocable pressure to succeed putting yourself under irresistible and irrevocable pressure to succeed that you cannot reverse it you cannot revoke it back it's not a contract to be revoked you put yourself he said for i press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of god in christ jesus brethren i count not myself to have apprehended that i've not arrived yet don't tell me i have arrived i've not arrived every calling of god is high it depends on the price you are ready to pray there are different kinds of car it depends on the money in your pocket the money in your pocket determines the kind of car you will drive so I hear. which price are you ready to pay if you want to marry the president of nigeria as a woman pay the price of a president's wife are you listening to me a lot of us desire good things but we are not ready to pay the price to get the good things hear me when you get up by favor if you don't use labor to retain it you will come down favor can take you up you can meet a man money miss road but without character you may not retain that man you may have a very good job i've seen people sacked from job sacked you can have a good job but hear me when you lack the capacity to handle the job you'll be fired there are a lot of people today that they are looking for position it's not position that determines your destiny it's what you are able to do your attitude to retain it when you climb by favor you must use labor to stay there's a price to pay never you desire lifting that you have not prepared yourself to step into praise the lord what does it mean to press press i said here to take certain desperate risk to see yourself succeed <laughs> 
to take certain desperate risk to yourself succeed hear me clearly no risk no respect the level of risk you are ready to take determines the level of respect you command and remember that risk is not convenience risk is not what is not convenience it will cost you everything if it must give you everything it will cost you everything paul said i press so to press means to take certain risk second kings chapter 7 second kings chapter 7 verse 3 there were four lepers leprous men at the entering in of the gates and they said one to another why sit we here until we die next verse if we say we will enter into the city then the famine is in the city and we shall die there. and if we sit here we die also uh -huh. now therefore come and let us fall unto the host of the syrians if they save us alive we shall live and if they kill us we shall but what but die uh-huh five and they rose up in the morning to go unto the camp of the syrians and when they were come to the outermost part of the camp of syria behold there was no man there next verse for the lord had made the host of the syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses even the noise of a great host and they said one to another lo the king of israel had hired against us the kings of the hittites and the kings of the egyptians to come upon us seven wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and they left their tents their horses their asses even the camp as it was and fled for their life eight when these lepers came to the outermost part of the camp they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried then silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered and came again and entered into another tent and carried then also and went and hid it now hear me if you must eat in plenty you must take risk if you must change levels there's a price to pay no risk no respect never you wait for fair weather before you take certain steps the weather when you wait for fair weather you may not fare well a lot of us are waiting for everything to be convenient no it will not be if my mommy were to be alive if my daddy were to be alive if my uncle had helped me i would have been better than this you are wasting your time you better wake up and take your life in your hands and move out if i had money i would have gone to school you are not ready to go to school the day you are ready to school you will get admission when you get admission people will help you if they can help you by begging you beg i beg i need fifty thousand for my school fees anything have you ever seen a test where they say anything will help uh -huh. anything you collect you collect you collect even when the bible says according to the scripture when they moved the lord made the syrians to flee you never did ready to marry when you did ready to marry you will fix your wedding day when you take certain risk you will see god back you up that business is waiting for you to take a risk what kind of risk take steps when you move god will remove obstacles when you move hear me you can make it even if it means you begging until you make it there's no problem are you listening to me don't be ashamed to beg are you listening to me oh boy help me i did die of hunger waiting you get anything where you get you give me no shaking they give you you collect that one you back up because you know where you're going you know where you're going you hear something now a young man is in oil company today he used his mouth to tell me that he used to borrow shoe to wear from his uncle he wears his shirt he wears his uncle's shirt to go to school he never had anything today is an oil company worker he has built and bought houses he collected the uncle's clothes and was wearing even when it was babariga that babariga means papa dash me oversized 
uh -huh, he was wearing it wasn't please don't be ashamed anytime you need help ask for help are you hearing me never you be afraid to ask for help as far as the thing is taking you to your future ask your help i'm not saying be a burden to somebody mm -mm. that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about constructive help you cry for if you know those god has blessed that can assist you move to them please can you assist me on this issue no no they shall you you go just die free of charge say here say not me if four lepers could make it you don't have excuse lepers were rejected rejected dejected they are outcast and you with hands and legs with correct mouth your mouth is not only for eating are you listening to me learn how to take risk move to governor's office attempt to see the governor they say who are you you say i'm so so person are you an appointment yes i'm an appointment when did he give you the appointment it's quite a long time because god had ordained that you'll be on appointment that day so you package yourself well dressed you enter there what's your name tell him i'm so so person take risk you need a job enter anywhere place a demand for a job I, I want to see the gm of the company are you an appointment who are you may we know you my name is so so person i'm a consultant <laughs> are you not a consultant in the first place you are a consultant <laughs> don't wait for people to introduce you it gets to a point where you introduce yourself yes, that's why i like the lizard if he land for ground like this he look left he look right nobody they clap for him he just boy you try well done well done well done everybody get problem oh. no greek person deceive you saying they claw where they wear they claw only cover in problem all lizards they lie belly for ground. You don't know the one way get stomach pain. Learn how to take risk. Don't magnify your problem above other people. Don't say, Pastor, my own problem pass every where. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Paul took risk. The four lepers they took risk. Step out. Stick out your neck. Are you listening to me? Stick out your neck. Bring out your neck like the tortoise. If the tortoise does not bring out the neck, it can never move. The more the tortoise keeps the neck inside the shell, the more stagnated it remains. If Peter never stepped out of the boat, he wouldn't have been recorded that he walked. You said he sank. Before he sank, he had taken some steps. Don't be afraid of the negative. You hear me? If you don't step out to prophesy, Heaven won't back you up. Oh. So take that risk. Eh, Pastor, if I lay hands on the sick and they are not healing, call, lay first. The laying is your own. The doing is his own. It's not my responsibility to heal you. I don't have the power. My own is to pray for you and I move away. He's the one to do the healing. The healing will be my concern. You wrote the first exams, you failed. You opened the first business, it closed down. That does not mean that you should run inside. You went into the first relationship, disappointment. Second, disappointment. Third, disappointment. The righteous fall seven times and rise again. So when you count the first seven fall, you can start all over again. Tell your neighbor, take risk. There is no press without a risk. No risk, no respect. Esther said, Esther chapter 4, from verse 12 through 16. Esther said, Go gather the Jews, everybody. Let us take that risk. If I perish, I what? I perish. If I perish, I perish. You hear me? Those that take risk, they don't perish. That's the beauty of it. If God has told you about election, go and contest. Don't be afraid. Have you not read the story of Abraham Lincoln? How many times he failed? With all the elections he had attempted and he failed, that should discourage him. Learn to take risk. Are you hearing me? Learn to take risk. 
The door is never closed for risk takers. No door is closed. For because when the door is closed, another must be open. When one is closed, God opens another one. When they fired you from work, go for another one. It means your time is up in that place. Locate another job. By the time you look for another job, you will get a better job. You don't sit down to weep. Sitting down to weep is a mark of defeat. You are not designed for defeat. You are designed. <laughs> Pastor, you won't understand. The man just left me. He disappointed me. When the man leaves you, another original is coming. It's in the midst of it, heaven shows up. Before the end of this week, God will show up on your behalf. Before the end of this week, God will show up on your behalf. You, you heard that deliverance on Sunday, one of the deliverances. She, she prayed and prayed and prayed before she got married. Now she's praying for a child. Now, assuming she prayed and prayed and she stopped praying, will she have married? She for no marry. Can you see why you must not give up? When you, the pressure, the kind of pressure Satan and situation they put on you, if you can put same pressure back, you will succeed. No, I'm telling us, if you can mount back the same pressure, you will succeed. Never you give up easily. Was it not one of the definitions last week? Refusing to give up until you have your breakthrough. That's the meaning of press. You refuse to give up. You pray. You fast. You keep walking. You keep dropping your CV. You keep moving. You keep consulting. You keep asking. Let people mock you. There's no problem. They are only helping your making. Where they have disgraced you. Rise up on your feet. Where they have disgraced you, God will glorify you in the same place. Yeah.